Well, good morning, Patriots. How you doing? Well, just days after the third GOP debate, the race for a second place, Republican Senator of South Carolina Tim Scott has decided to drop out of it. Saying that, um, I guess it says his policies uh, don't resonate with GOP voters, which is not true at all. His policies do resonate with GOP voters. They just don't want you to lead. They like you where you are. So now we're down to the final four. We have our two rhinos, Chris Christie and Nikki Haley. We have a charlatan, the name uh, Russia Swami, and we have an actual real American named Ron DeSantis. And <clears throat> no matter who's left standing, it's not going to matter. Trump is going to be the nominee. Whether you rhinos like it or not, Trump is going to be the nominee. And <clears throat> from what they say, Tim Scott still had plenty of uh, money and resources, but, you know, he, he, he's seen the right on the wall right now. He knows that the same is in second place and, like, something like 30 to 40 points behind Ron DeSantis, despite everything they tried to throw at Donald Trump. So, I think Tim Scott, being the conservative is, says, you know what, money... Spent on this is not worth it. It's not getting anywhere. Yeah, true. It is not. I wish he would just pass the message to Ron DeSantis and just go back to governing Florida now. And for the other three clowns, just quit because, you know, well, you suck. Regardless, regardless, uh, Yeah, why not? This looks good. Trump is going to be the nominee. Links will be the bottom. Let me know what you think. Do you like Tim Scott? Did you not like Tim Scott? Do you think Tim Scott should just stay in the Senate? That's what he's good at and work on be maybe becoming the next Senate majority leader because we could use someone like him at the helm right now. We really can. Regardless, we'll talk to you later.